Hey, thanks for being here. Let's do it. Let's play it forward. These are real people, real stories, the struggle to play it forward. Episode number 527 is with Dale George Lytle from the group Angelus. The group's new release is The Band Played On. How are you doing, Harold? Fantastic. How about you, dude? Oh, really good. Thank you. Man, I'll tell you what, a lot's been going on in the rock and roll world these days, and you guys are right there in the middle of it, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you know, I, I, I definitely want to talk about the song Band Plays On. This is one of those songs, and I, I literally have it here in my notes, that this reminds me of the days of Ario Speedwagon and Foreigner crossing over to the adult Top 40 side, and I think that this song is going to be that song. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, because the song hook, the guitar work, everything about this song, it doesn't make it a genre. What it does, it makes it you guys. Uh Uh-huh. Wow. That's interesting. That's really cool. Coming up with it, how did did you guys lay it all out, and what what, what was the birth of the song Band Plays On? You know, it's just the the good and evil that's going on in the world, you know? And I was trying to think of how, how to put that together, and that's... What came up? I mean, that's what I came up with. Was it was it simple to put together, or was it one of those that came in pieces parts? Because there, there are so well, many there are so many times that songs. Well, you know, you 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 drop a riff there, you put a lyric here, and then somehow it comes together. Yeah, that's uh, it was real quick, real easy, wow. real simple. Wow. Yeah, it was one of those just bam. Wow. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's one of those where it's like uh, I, I can hear the live audience singing right with you guys, to where you you guys might actually yeah. just allow the band, I mean, allow those in the crowd to just you know take over. Right, right, yeah. That's uh, you know that that's always a dream come true is when the audience sings your songs along with you. That that's always a a great thing to have. Uh, How has it changed for you guys o- over the past couple of years? I mean, ha- are, are fans more open to receive the live music? Because, I mean, here in the Carolinas, I mean, it's packing up big time. Yeah, we're, you know, we're working on getting uh, the right manager and the right booking agent and getting shows. And, um, you know, we're just trying to get set up for next year. And that's what we've been working on this entire week and the week before and, and that kind of stuff. So we're really working on trying to get out there. I, I, I'm glad that you brought up the part about the, the manager and stuff like that because you guys are unbelievably honest and real on your Facebook page and you put it out there for people and, and that right there says, hey, we're a real band and this is a real experience. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's not easy. No. It's, it's, it's hard. It's a lot of work. The, how, the to keep it together though, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, you guys saw. I, I saw the video. The video itself it just showcases a great rock band. It, you guys really do look very tight. Uh huh. Yeah, we we we're good friends. Real good friends. How long's that been going on, dude? Uh, you know, with these new guys, about about three months. Yeah. Yeah. About three months. The new guys. Isn't isn't that part of the fun of it though? I mean, it, to me, I mean that was that was what I loved about being in a garage band. It was like, hey, I just met Mike. Can he play drums? Yeah, get him in here. He's he's on drums today. Yeah, right, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah, that's right, exactly. One of the exactly. one of the things that uh, Angelus has got is the fact that you guys have got a powerhouse logo. Who came up with that design? And and man, when you take that out there and give it to people on T-shirts and merchandising like you guys do, I mean, there's a sense of pride even for the fan. Yeah, you know, it, it just um, actually the the actual writing came from the Los Angeles Times paper. Oh. That's what we initially, if you look at it, take everything off, and then we had a drummer, Paul Demasio back in the early 80s and late 79 um came up the um uh, the the ball and chain and all that kind of stuff and then the pipes were put in by um jim evans uh which did i i found out just recently from we, we were in bound for hell and i believe i i read it in there and um that that it was also um he also did the covers for the eagles mm. and the beach boys and um uh, well that's good enough uh, that's a couple i can remember yeah so he did a lot of you know he did a lot of big people well it's it's, it's definitely marketable and that, and that's one of the things when 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 listeners go to your website i mean they're, they're going to find out that they can you know they, they can get this and they can add it to their collection yeah exactly merch yeah. is so important to bands nowadays isn't it it is. Yes, absolutely. 
Absolutely, it is. But to market yeah. it, to market it, man, does it require an army, or is it, does somebody in the band? That's well, that's your job today. You got to you got to do the merch. Yeah, no, we just kind of do it. You know, Connie and I, and take care of it the best we can, mm-hmm. and we try and do as much as we can. <laughs> So it's a full time job. When when you're when you're out there with the other bands and stuff like that, touring around, do you get do you have time to still be a fan of music? Because I mean, you you've toured with a lot of big names. Do you get to be the right. fan? No, 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 not really. I mean, you know, I I could I could probably count on one or two hands the amount of bands I've actually even seen play that we played with. Uh, it's just like I'm busy before, we're busy after. You know, when you're when you're doing shows, you're you're extremely you're, you're busy. You yeah. know, you've got a lot to do, and it's a job. And um, you know, once you get on stage, it's 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 whatever time you have to play. It's it's that's your you know that's your hopefully it's a good show and things are going right and you're not breaking strings and you know you can hear everything properly. But besides all that, if if you can, that that's the time you get to enjoy it. But other than that, it's usually all work. You know, there's a lot of work. For that that view that you get from that microphone overlooking that live crowd. I mean that. I mean that's. Oh my God, that's such a place of great energy. Oh, it is. It is. There's nothing like it. And getting yourself mentally prepared to go up there is is a lot of it. Is is you know so much of the whole thing you're you're, yeah. you're so right about that because i mean i i always call it the transition period people will look at me and they go are you, are you there and i said yeah I'm, I'm in transition right now because you do go into a zone because you're getting ready to hit that live stage yeah yeah and and they want they want you know i i like to be an entertainer i like to consider myself an entertainer mm-hmm. as much as a singer or guitarist or anything songwriter i i really pride myself um, when you go, when you hit the stage, your job is to give a show, put on a show, create excitement, create excitement, you know, um, like so many of the greats do. And, 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 and you gotta, you gotta be able to rise to the occasion yeah. and you can't get up there and just go through the motions and you go blah, blah, blah. You know, you gotta go up there and let's F and rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because those fans, they, they'll they'll call you out, man. They, they, I mean, they, you've seen what what they've been doing with different uh, performers and stuff like that that have been using a track you know, to sing with and oh, stuff like yeah. that. They'll call you out. Oh, they will. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. They sure will. So, um, yeah. you know, with all the binge watching that we have been doing over the past three years now because of the lockdown and stuff, have you ever gotten into a storyline so much that all of a sudden it ignited a song inside of you to go, damn, I was inspired by this binge watch. I've got this great song now. Uh, you know what? No, but you know, that's a good thought. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I've, I've gotten, I've watched, you know, um, Breaking Bad yeah. and, uh, Longmire and a few really good shows that that that's a good thing to think about. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, I mean, one of the things that I've always loved about your band is that you're it's not just a song. There's a story in every song. And 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 when you sit there and you look at those lyrics, it's like, oh, my God, they're, they're talking about something I can relate with. Right. Yeah. It, try to make it that way. I mean, there's real life. There's real things that are happening in the world. And you just got to keep it in mind. Um, and then sometimes you want to escape it, you know, <laughs> you can't always, you can't always keep them there. They, people like to escape too. So yeah. this was more on the serious side, you know, and, uh, to say the least, but, uh, yeah, it, very interesting. Very, very cool. Well, d- very. don't you, don't you think that the song band plays on it, that it sets a tone as we start heading into these winter months and stuff like that, that people are going to need that jump start, And this is one of those songs that can do that. I sure hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's off to a good start. That's all I can tell you that. Oh, yeah. I, I, I've seen the charts. I mean, around the world, you are starting to make some noise here, dude. Yeah, I know. I saw that, too. I mean, I, you know, I'm posting them. I'm Blade of Steel is, is taken off in Italy. And our publicist, uh, one of them, uh, in, in Tarja, in Italy, sent that to me. And I'm just like, holy crap, and then Australia, and then, you know, around the world. Yeah, all over. Is, yeah. Is, is it weird, though, that when it takes off like that, we all get our own interpretation of the song, but yet, I mean, uh, you guys being up there live on stage, you know the story, you know the journey, you know the struggles, you also know the victories. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, 
you know, you just, once you're up there, you just got to have fun. You got to try and really have fun yourself as well, because there's so much work that people don't know about. They think it's all just, you know, this, this, you know, uh, dreamland that you're, you, you know, uh, being in a rock band, but be, they don't know the amount of work that goes into it. it it's, it's a 24 yep. seven job. I mean, I literally came up with some of that part with the cross and I'm fighting with the cross in the video. Um, about good and evil and up and down and trying to go up and I'm t- it's going down and I, you know it's going sideways and, yep. and I, I I literally I'm not sure if I was dreaming <laughs> I'm not sure if it was, I was like one of those moments when you're kind of asleep when you're not I'm not sure if I, if I thought of it like you know I I know I was in bed I, I, you know um, I, I think I was asleep I think it could have been in a dream. But I'm not sure, and that's where I woke up, and I'm going, you know, to my wife, honey, you know, I, I, I just, I just thought of this. I, I don't know if it was in a dream or if it was like in between, kind of, you know, when you're, 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 you're in, uh, you're that in inferior where you're not quite asleep, but you're not, you're not awake. Yep. You know, and I'm not sure if it was that stage, or what, but I was like, you know, it came to me in that kind of. Um, you know, situation, and and it was. I woke up and I said, "We got to do this," and 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 she's like, "Wow," you know. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's. I mean, things come to me in the weirdest times and weirdest places, and I I don't really know where they come from. Well, be honest, I've always you know? believed that a creative mind never sleeps. It may rest, but it never sleeps. Oh, wow, write that down, Connie. What? Yeah, Errol, that's awesome. A creative mind never sleeps. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, that's how it happens, Harold. <laughs> well, see, and and then you, but th- that's what, what, listen, when you're talking about that, that it's work, it's hard work and stuff like that, right away I had a vision that, that, that I would love to go back to my father who told me, why don't you get a real job? And it's like, Dad, why don't you do this job? And then you'll find out that it is a real job. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> that you know, I couldn't have said it better, you know, myself at all by any chance. You said it. That that's perfect. That's exactly it. Why don't you try this roll out and you'll see what kind of job it is. Yeah, it's you, you get back to me, man. You get back to me on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You let me know. <laughs> yeah, because you know, it's 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 like radio people. All these people think that they can do radio. And so then I had a general man- manager tell me one time, he says, Yeah, they can do it for one or two days, but come in here seven days a week. Let's see how well they are on the eighth day. Right, right. I mean, I sit there and watch, you know, uh, you know, different uh, talk shows and and different, you know, you know, news channels, and I often, you know, how do they do it every day? Yep. You know, five days a week they go on, and you know, and even you know, on the just the news, the local news, you know, it's 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 something you gotta you gotta be in that that you know, that frame of mind, that mindset. All the time, day in and day out, you don't know what they went through that 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 night before. If they had a good night's sleep, if they had a you know whatever it might be, if they had a fight with their their, <laughs> their kids or the family, you have no clue, you know. <clears throat> so let me get take a drink of water here. Go for it, buddy. but yeah, it's um, you know, it's yeah, I, it's to do it every day consistently. It's got to be really tough. Well, it's the conditioning of it all. And, and and so let me ask you the question on that. When we went into lockdown, how did you recondition yourself? It took me a long time to get this body to say, hey, look, you, you need to be strong here. This is where you rest. This is where you, where you need to perform. And you know, it was, it was like a reconditioning of the mind. Yeah, we had to go different angles, go different directions, mm-hmm. uh, do different things. Um, you know, write music, write songs, write an album. I think we we put together um, Hell and High Heels uh, during most of that time, um, and then and run, I'm part of Running Like an Outlaw as well. And we had to really struggle to get through it, to find ways to get into the studio. Yep. Um, we had to um, finagle our way to get uh, you know to get the vocals, to get uh, the studio, to want to stay on one side of the wall. And the singer to stay on the other side of the wall because Matt didn't want to deal with it. And and uh, so I said, well, what if, you know, you go into your booth, the control room and we'll have the singer come in and go directly into the vocal room. Yep. And, and, you know, it was 
finagling, trying to get the, the Hell and High Hills record done. That was a lot of con- that was really hard to do, and um, but we got it done did, and we did we did it. So. Didn't you feel like a secret agent? Because I do remember during that time period. I mean, we still performed. Yeah. It was in a lot of deep dark places, but we still performed. Yeah, we we didn't do much, but we did go into Denver. <clears throat> we did go up to Denver and do a couple shows there. Yeah, and so that that was good. But it was it was hard finding places that that oh, would allow. Oh God, hard. so true. So true. Yeah, oh. really, really a rough one. Oh, but, it's, and, and and you know what's going to happen is that one day we're going to sit down with with a, a even younger generation and explain this to them, and they're going to go, uh, uh-uh, uh, it didn't happen that way. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. It, it's like just what a wild time, right? What a wild situation. That whole thing was just, uh, and it's still lingering. Yeah. I mean, Fauci was just on in the White House yesterday saying. You know, hunker down and be careful and do all this stuff. And it's like, you know, it, it's still. And you know, I got sick a couple of weeks, three weeks ago. Wow, I'm sorry. And I don't know what it was, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> well, at least you're ready to rock and hit that road again, aren't you? Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> without a doubt. Oh without a doubt. So, what's the website where listeners can go to to give you guys lots of love, get their hands on your music as well as the merchandise? They've got to buy the merchandise because we've all yeah. seen what's been happening with Ticketmaster. The only way bands are making money: sell the merchandise, sell the merchandise. Yeah, AngelusBand dot com, and um, also um, you know Angelus Band Facebook, our Facebook page. Those are the two best places, and uh, we're working on the store right now, and uh, we're re. re- doing it and um so it's not complete 100 percent right now but um that's where it'll be available on angelofan.com i love it man come back to this show anytime in the future the door is always going to be open for you well thank you all right uh, and thank you for having me and happy thanksgiving same, happy to you. same to you man you be brilliant okay you too brother thank you errol